Hey, hello guys. This is Nitin Power. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll learn about how you can do the dynamic data masking for any columns in your Azure Synapse in that particular SQL pool. So, how to do that? Consider that you have a resource. So, how you can check your resource? You go to the all services, all resource. You click over there. So you can find your Azure SQL Server. So firstly, you need to add your IP firewall rule. So how to add that firewall rule, your IP, click over here on that SQL Server. On overview page, view page, you can see the networking option. Click on show networking setting. So here, over here, you can see that your IP address is mentioned. So you, you need to click on add your IP. So your IP will be rule name and this IP will be added. So click on save. Now you can see that updating firewall and firewall rules has been updated. Now you go to your home, home page and click on all resources. Now here you can see that you have your dedicated SQL pool. So click over there. Inside the dedicated SQL pool, go to your query editor. Click on the query editor. It will ask you for your login credentials. So you need to provide your login credentials. So I will provide my password. Click OK. So now you are able to login into your dedicated SQL pool. So now you want to retrieve the data and and you need to do the dynamic masking on the email. So what I will do firstly, I'll show you the data. So this is my table deem employee. It have two columns, employee national ID, alternate key and email address. So if I run this right now, query is running. Now you can see that all the data, email address and it is visible. Now what I want to do, I want to mask my email address so that only the initial letter is visible. Apart from that, all other things should be masked. So the r and the dot com should be visible apart from that all other things should be masked and for the employee national id alternate key also i want only the last four digits should be visible okay so how i can do that so let's start i will create the user one okay and then i'll try to retrieve the data from this team employee table once I mask my email address and the national alternate key. So click on. So here what I want, I want to create a user username without login credentials and I want to execute the store procedure add role member as a user one. So if I run this, so this user one is added to my data reader group. Okay. So now I want, so my user is created. Now I want to mask my email. Mask the email address. We have alter table, table name, my dbo.team, dim employees, my table name. Alter column, my email address. Add mask with, we have the system inbuilt function. For the email so if you execute this 
you can say that query succeeded affected rows are zero then now what i want to do i want to mask my employee national id alternate key by the custom mask so how i can do that again i'll click i'll say alter table table name alter column my employee national id alternate key add mask with function as partial so what it say starting from the zero first fifth should be mass and the last four should be visible so if i run this you can see that query succeeded affected rows are zero now i want to execute this first query as the user one so how i can do that click on new query so using this query execute as user one we are impersonating that user one we are selecting the rows from deem employee table so if i run this now you can see that the data masking has been applied to my email address field and employee national id alternate key so this way using the inbuilt function for the email you can mask the data for the email and if you want to custom mask then you need to provide the function equals to partial and then how many fields like how many numbers you want to mask like first three digit first four digit first five digits then you need to provide that over here so this way you can do your data masking for particular users now suppose you have a scenario where you want to exclude this user from data masking so how you can do that so i'm taking new query i'll say grant unmask to user one so if i run this i say that affected or zero now suppose again I copy this and click on new query is that query and run it now you can see that again for this user the data masking is excluded because we have granted unmask to this particular user one so this way you can grant the unmasking to any particular user if you want to okay so in this video we learn like how you can add a particular user without any login to your database then how you can add the masking for the email and then for any other column your custom masking and then you see that that particular user is able to see the data with the mask like he is not able to view all the data all other details are like mask and if you want to exclude that particular user from masking you have to run that grant unmask to user one or any other users so that whenever that user fires the query he is able to see all the data so if you have any questions on this do let me know. I'll try to answer those questions. Thank you.